Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out this week's latest Canary Channel build, 25967, which they made available late yesterday in my region on the 5th of October. So just to have a quick look at what is hot off the presses, because your Canary Channel is your first point of call in the Insider program. So if you are interested in what Microsoft is working on and developing in its early stages, uh, then just to go through some of these uh, new features and improvements uh, in build 25967. So what's new in this latest build? Well, the first feature actually isn't that new. Uh, the first is the new settings homepage, which has already started rolling out to the stable version uh, in the Moment 4 feature update last week. So uh, just to go through this quickly uh, for the purpose of this video, Microsoft say they are introducing a new homepage in settings that offers you a dynamic, personalized experience. And apparently, um, as you can see, it provides an overview of your device quick access to key settings and helps manage your Microsoft account. And here we can see we've got different sections that are basically quick shortcuts to um, settings that are buried a little bit deeper in the actual settings app. So we've got our recommended settings, our cloud storage. You can personalize your device, change the theme and so on. Yeah, you can turn on Bluetooth devices. Yeah, you can try Microsoft 365. And also if you have an Xbox and are using an Xbox subscription, uh, you'll also see an Xbox um, menu as well in that new homepage. So although it's listed as a new feature in the Canary channel, um, it has started rolling out to the stable version already um, with the Moment 4 feature update. And then moving on to the next, we've got some changes and improvements. And as many of you will know, and as I have posted previously, uh, Cortana now has uh, reached its end of life. Microsoft has ended support for Cortana. And um, in this regard, um, they have removed Cortana after updating to this build. And uh, um, so Cortana now has been automatically removed, where in the stable version, although the app um, has been deprecated, um, it hasn't been completely removed. But as I've posted previously, um, Microsoft now has given us the option to uninstall Cortana, because obviously now that is no more. So, um, Interesting to see now that Microsoft has actually removed it now automatically in this latest Canary Channel board, which I thought was going to happen anyway, seeing that it, that it is unsupported. And then if we just head over to a couple of screenshots, uh, just to give us a general idea of some other improvements, Microsoft say they are trying out a scrollable view for, of quick settings to some Windows insiders in uh, the Canary Channel for this week. And this is part of evaluating effective effectiveness of different layouts. So as part of the change, um, rather than having to edit the list to add new quick actions, the user now has a scrollable list of quick actions that can be rearranged. And then moving on um, to the next, system components that are currently listed in settings, apps, installed apps page, have moved to their own page under settings system system components as we can see so uh, in the stable version of windows 11 these are uh, in the installed apps list on that page now as we can see with this canary channel uh, build for this week those have now been put into their own system components page which i actually think is a nice move it just uh, creates less confusion uh, where you can actually see um, apps that maybe you have installed and the actual default system components that are available uh, in Windows 11. And then just to do a quick mention, uh, the Xbox Game Bar is now Game Bar under Settings Gaming. So that's a small little change when it comes to renaming Xbox Game Bar. And then there are fixes for known issues. A and um, one of these is if we head to the File Explorer, this is an important fix because I experienced this in the stable version. They fixed a white flash when opening File Explorer in dark mode as well as an issue where File Explorer could get stuck with the wrong colors after switching between light and dark mode. Now, if I open a new tab, you'll see that white flash as I've referred to previously as a white flashbang. Now, this seems to be an issue that Microsoft cannot resolve. Now, I see it is being addressed in the Canary channel uh, for this week. So hopefully that fix will finally roll out to the stable version one day because, as mentioned, and, and as you can see, I have been affected by that as well. And then because we are in the Canary channel, we get um, a couple of known issues because it is very early days. So we can expect bugs and instability. 
And then just the final kind of new update and feature for this week is there's a Microsoft Store update for insiders in the Canary and the Dev Channel. Um, running version 22309 of the Microsoft Store and higher. And you should see the following improvement rolling out where there is a visual refresh now of the Windows license pages where Microsoft say they have improved the look and feel of um, the look and feel of Windows license pages in the Microsoft Store to be consistent with Windows 11. So obviously they are trying to make it match the look and feel now of the Windows 11 OS and the pages provide comparison tables between Windows editions to help make it easier to choose what license is best for you. So there you have it. That's what Microsoft is calling hot off the presses for this week in this week's latest Canary channel build 25967, which rolled out on the 5th of October. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.